Hello, friends and colleagues. This is John Ross, the president of the Pennsylvania Principals Association, coming to you with my vlog for April of 2021. Sorry, I missed out on March, got away from me before I could push one out to you all. Um, but I hope that everybody had a restful spring break and looking forward to finishing the year strong. So our monthly vlog uh, this time is sponsored by our friends at Lexia Learning, and you're gonna hear a quick message from them in just a moment. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about this month is the idea of feedback, uh, which I know is a pretty common topic of conversation in education, but I'm not talking about the kind of feedback that teachers get from their students. Uh, I'm thinking more along the lines of the feedback that we get as leaders, feedback that we might get from our students uh, feedback that we could get from our teachers and our staff and feedback that we might get from the parents and the community that we serve and how important and vital it is that we remain open to that feedback. You know, there's a famous saying that I'm sure you've heard before. Uh, it goes something along the lines of when people stop bringing you their problems, you're no longer leading them. And uh, I didn't really identify with that quote when, when I first became a principal. I had a hard time with that. Um, but as the years have gone on and I've gotten a little bit more seasoned, uh, I've come to realize just how spot on uh, that notion is and how important it is that we remain open to feedback and, and open to problems. Our job, uh, hopefully you've realized by now, is putting out fires. It's going throughout the day and helping people with their problems and trying to do everything within our power to minimize the impact uh, the negative impact that any problems might have. So we don't always solve them, but quite often we're able to, you know, minimize that, that negative impact. So uh, when I think about that quote, it, it makes me think about two things. There, there's two things that we can do as leaders uh, to prevent people from stopping bringing us problems. We, two things that we can do to keep those problems coming. And as crazy as it sounds, that's what you want. There's a little bit of job security in that as well, I would think. But uh, two things that come to my mind. Uh, first is accessibility. You need to be, it's incredibly important that you are accessible to people, that you find ways to uh, give those that you serve the opportunity to have your time and have your attention. And again, if you're talking about students, uh, parents, teacher, staff, regardless. Um, so that begins with, you know, having an open door. Um, and I know that's pretty common among principals and leaders, but you can go deeper. There's more things you can do. You can try things such as social media. And I'm going to talk about social, our social media from the Principals Association in a moment. Um, you can try to survey people. I know a lot of folks put things out asking their, uh, their staff or their students and their parents for feedback. So actually, you know, explicitly going out and requesting that input that sometimes is a little hard to read, but nevertheless is always important to get. Um, one thing that I've done in the past, and it actually happened accidentally, uh, I give parents my cell number. Quite frequently, I, I push it out to parents either in some kind of message um, or when parents are dealing with something heavy, when there's something major going on. And, you know, I want to make sure I'm accessible to those parents. Uh, they get my cell number and, and I'm freely, I freely share that out. And that's probably not a big deal when you think about sharing it with your teachers. Uh, but sharing it with your parents can really go a long way toward helping them uh, when those problems occur. And then the other thing that I think can uh, prevent people uh, from bringing problems to you and something you, you want to avoid is uh, your reaction. Your, your reaction to those problems can really go a long way towards sending a message to people. If your reaction is to freak out and panic, then they're going to freak out and panic. If your reaction is to come back at them, if someone's bringing you a problem, a legitimate issue or not a legitimate issue, and your reaction is to push it back on them and say, well, what are you doing about it? And everybody's got problems and you think that's tough. You should see all the things I have to deal with. You know, those kinds of comparisons really aren't helping. So your reaction goes a long way toward uh, deciding how that problem is going to get solved. So please keep that in mind um, when you're dealing with these things. And I think it'll really go a long way toward helping you uh, in that situation. But I'll talk a little bit more about it, but first I want to take a quick commercial break and share a message with you from uh, our friends at the PA Principals Association from Lexia Learning. Be right back after this message.
Welcome to Lexia Learning, where we are dedicated to changing lives through the power of language and literacy education, so every student can thrive and succeed in the world around them. Founded through a research grant over 35 years ago, Lexia has created some of the most rigorously researched and respected reading programs in the world, which has earned strong ratings from Evidence for ESSA for both of our learning solutions in elementary and secondary education. Lexia's literacy solutions, including Lexia Core 5 Reading and Lexia Power Up Literacy, are independently evaluated, research-proven, and results-driven. Lexia's adaptive blended learning model and patented assessment without testing technology are at the heart of its programs, with a focus on all areas of reading, from word recognition and academic language to comprehension. Lexia's innovative solutions facilitate personalized learning experiences for all students and scalable partnerships with education stakeholders. Experience Lexia's award-winning programs through the eyes of students and educators using this interactive demo. To learn even more, click Contact My Rep in the navigation bar. Okay, so thanks again to our friends at Lexia Learning for sponsoring the PA Principals Association. Uh, it's a fantastic organization and something I would encourage you uh, to support in any way that you can. So another type of feedback that I think about is feedback from you, the members of the PA Principals Association. And I hope you know that you can always contact us, whether it's reaching out to me and all of my contact information is on our webpage. Um, it, it's pretty easy to find me. There's my Twitter handle, by the, by the way, at the bottom there. Um, or contacting our office. Uh, Dr. Healy and Dr. Eschbach, our executive director and assistant executive director, are just tremendous, tremendous resources for you. Uh, if you have information, uh, if you're looking for information about an Act 93 agreement that you're working on, um, if you need advice, maybe legal advice, something that has to do with your, uh, your professional uh, situation that you want feedback from them on, or maybe guidance toward getting legal advice that something you get uh, as a member of our association. Just getting that feedback from you to them and to me uh, is incredibly, uh, incredibly important and something that we value highly. Um, but there's other ways, there's other services that our association provides that I wanna make sure you're all aware of. Uh, we all know how important professional development is right now. And as leaders, as Pennsylvania leaders, PILS courses are something I know we're all dealing with and something we're all thinking about. And we have tremendous, tremendous library of PILS uh, courses that, that you can take, um, that you can get involved in and you can take. A lot of them have been written by uh, one of your fellow members of the BF Principals Association, Dr. Beth Haldeman from Calico School District. Um, has just done a tremendous job, former president of our association, um, in writing these courses and getting them approved. That's a lot of work and, and something that uh, we value um, as something we can offer you uh, as a member of the PA Principals Association. Uh, other PD that you can take advantage of is our, uh, our leadership summit every summer where you can bring a team of people from your district, something I would encourage you to uh, look into, if, whether it's a building team, if you're you know, a principal and you have assistant principals, or if you're an elementary principal and your other elementary colleagues wanna all come together, or if you're a district leader or you wanna maybe spread the word to your district leadership, hey, you know, as part of our retreat this year, maybe we could go to the PA Leadership Summit uh, because it's not just sponsored by our association, it's also sponsored by the Superintendents Association and uh, something I encourage you to look into. And obviously we have our annual conference, our, our LEAD 21 this year uh, will be in October, we'll be in State College, we're full speed ahead, looking forward to being in person again. And uh, we hope that you can uh, join us in attending. We've got a lot of great things in store uh, at that conference this year that uh, we'd love to have you show up for. So lastly, as I mentioned, uh, social media, you can find PA Principals uh, on both Facebook and LinkedIn. If you look for us on either one of those platforms, uh, LinkedIn is a newer platform for us, but something that uh, we're, we're happy that's growing. Uh, and it's a great way for you to connect professionally, both with us and with other leaders across Pennsylvania. And we're gonna maximize that and find other ways to use that resource when it comes to job searches and so forth. Um, and then Twitter, you can find us uh, at PA Principles uh, on Twitter. And again, as I mentioned, I'm at Jonathan G underscore Ross on Twitter. Um, just another way to try to, you know, remain approachable, remain accessible, 
and to remain there for you for when you have problems that you need help with. So keep those problems coming. Keep the, the, the positive feedback coming as well. Um, and keep on just doing all the amazing things that you're doing for children. It's so great uh, to get to see the hard work that's being done across Pennsylvania. And I know that a large portion of that work would, would not be getting done if it were not for your outstanding leadership. And I'm proud to be president of the association more than ever. I'm so lucky to be president during this pandemic because it's really given me the opportunity to see just some outstanding work that's taking place. So uh, thanks. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, by the way. And uh, I'll see you next time for the next edition of the PA Principals Association President's Vlog. Thanks to our friends at Lexia Learning. Have a great day.